Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. This is the Daily Tarot for Tuesday the 27th of October. Hmm, something rather kind of boxy somehow about that date. Don't know why. Something boxy about it. Let's see. Let's unbox it and see what we get. I'm just having another little shuffle here. <sighs> Autumn is well and truly upon us. Having said that, I was just outside and there are loads of little mushrooms, because it's autumn, like popping up everywhere, lots of little tiny ones that I cannot identify. But there are primroses as well. A couple of fresh spring flower primroses. Very strange. And I've been pulling down the old bean plants from this year because uh, we've had everything off them. It's, it's a strange feeling pulling them down because they fed us so well and we've saved some of the, uh, some of the pods and let them dry on the plant so we've got seed for next year. Fingers crossed with all of that. Anyway, Wow. <laughs> this is um, unusually wonderful for a sugar-free reading. Unusually wonderful. We're coming in with strength in the upright, the overcoming of one's inner, not demons, but uh, weaknesses. This is, this is the part of the tarot card number 11 where we basically realize that if we're going to achieve what we want to achieve the greatest sort of enemy to our progress and our well-being and that enemy is uh, represented here by this lion that can destroy us <laughs> is ourselves and we have to get a grip this is getting a grip and look she's getting a grip and but there's real gentleness in this as well. There's a, clearly strength in it, real fortitude. But um, as I say, it's very gentle as well. No one's being hurt. No animals were harmed in the taming of this lion. Okay, so it's, it's very soft. It's like um, very soft, but very firm at the same time, which is a really good combination. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah beautiful beautiful so coming in with strength um crowning the reading we have the emperor in the upright now we've had a lot of emperor in the reverse we've had a lot of bad dad <laughs> in the readings recently but um how wonderful to see him and i get the feeling in this reading that he's looking for the long term, he's surveying far into the future somehow and to the far edges of the kingdom. And I get a good feeling about this in conjunction with the other cards that we have. We have the sun in the upright. Beautiful. We have the star in the upright. And we have the hermit. So what I'm getting from this, all in the upright, how unusual for me. Um, what I'm getting from this is that this process of, I mean, the only real action card here is strength. So this is the kind of, this is the karmic element of this reading, um, if we acknowledge um, that the real meaning of the word karma is action. It means action to act because every action creates a reaction. You know, the laws of physics and karma is the law of spiritual physics. Um, yeah, there's nothing 
a kind of moral attached to it. It's just the way it is. So we have this, this action of, as I say, overcoming and exerting a loving, gentle, don't take any shit, parental energy over a, a, a wild and potentially dangerous situation. And, um, I mean, the hermit and the, uh, and the emperor here, as I say, I'm getting a feeling with the emperor of, um, oh, where have I gone? <laughs> Can't get me. And goes, what do you want to see? Me or the cards? Let's have the cards. I get a feeling that the, uh, the emperor here, as I say, is looking for the long term and looking on a wide scale. He's macro. This is good authority in the macro. And uh, it's happening really quietly with this hermit card as well. There's, there's great consideration here. Real, real examination, but not in a kind of pick everything apart sort of way. In a real kind of zoom out macro kind of way where the further you zoom out the wider you can see and it's wonderful you know sun and the star so i'm struck by the um the pairs here so in the sun we have this pair this happy couple and in the star we have these two vessels both being poured out of into the flow. So there's beautiful flow here, beautiful unity, uh, real balance. It's wonderful. I don't know what to say. Beautiful. <laughs> um, it's like some sort of, um, you know, for this reading, the restoration of some sort of order. It's really nice. But as I say, with the hermit here, it's, it's very quiet and it's it's a really sort of mature acknowledgement that each one has their part to play in the bigger, the bigger picture. The bigger picture is only the bigger picture because there's lots of stuff in it, okay? And it's those individual units, the, the individual self being overcome and uh, by itself for the benefit of the bigger picture. It's, this is absolutely lovely. I can pull some of see if I can mess it up. Where's the shadow side in this? Because there's, there's always a shadow. There is always a shadow, especially when the sun shines so brightly. I mean, everything organic, everything that lives is ultimately and at root made of light because it's the light of the sun that creates and powers all life on this planet. When a shadow is cast, it's because something solid, some solid or seeming solid object is placed between the light and the eye that perceives the light. And in the case of the human spirit, that... Uh, that solid object that creates the shadow is the human ego. Now, the ego in and of itself is not a bad thing. We need an ego in order to have an identity and in order to sort of embody ourselves uh, to go about our business in the world. Uh, the ego is, uh, is necessary, but uh, I think in our culture, the ego is rather over, over egged, shall we say. Um, and it can create shadows in the world and and in ourselves. But uh, no, there's this beautiful sort of a very quiet self-reflection um, in the in the pursuit, and it looks like to me the sort of the successful pursuit in the present and the hope in the future for the continuation of. Um, of well-being 
well-being and for, for the first time in ages I'm getting as I say a really good sense around this around the emperor so show me the shadow because there is always a shadow that was a bit wobbly okay judgment in the upright well okay this might not be easy this might not be easy and it might it might bring some stuff up this um this process of self-mastery done in the privacy of one's own soul um, might bring some stuff up that uh that we might rather <laughs> we might prefer to not look at or not think about you know that's that's the name of the game man that's the name of the game i mean when when this uh inner rampant toddler of the of the lion here in the strength card is is tackled um we have to go right down into the roots and find out what is there and the thing with going right down into the roots of, of the self, of the soul, is that we can't be sort of partial and choose to ignore certain bits of it and focus on other bits of it because <clears throat> that well basically that's cheating. <laughs> and it won't get you anywhere. It won't it won't work. It'll give you a nice sense um, of of perhaps some peace of mind. On, on a temporary basis but this is not a reading for a temporary thing and uh, that's what uh, judgment is telling me and really echoing this uh, this sense of the the far-sighted and the far-sighted breadth of vision of the emperor in this card in this reading sorry so one more what do we need to look at down in the uh, the bowels of ourselves and as I say there's nothing sort of threatening here nothing threatening at all not with the Sun and the star in the upright well fancy that okay <laughs> the devil so what are we addicted to what are we addicted to what have we um what have we allowed to shift and morph from a, a desire to a dependence from a wish into a, a must because if there is something like that and there is for all of us i mean for some of us it's chemical for some of us it's emotional, for some of us it's psychological. Um, something that started off as a pleasure that then bit by bit by bit becomes a necessity. Um, that I think is the key and that might be the bit that we would rather didn't emerge um, when the angel of, of um, judgment sounds that trumpet but it's all got to come up in order for this vision this far-reaching broad vision of the emperor here to um to be of any use really because otherwise it is it's just picking and choosing picking and choosing but look in the meantime um and i mean this is this this, this would be the case for any day it just happens to be the reading for Tuesday the 27th um, of October but you know this would be the case in any sense but at the heart of it all at the heart of it all is this sun and star happiness in the present which is the only place you will find it 
Um, and optimism. My, uh, my Tibetan Buddhist teacher posted on Facebook today. Uh, he's in India. He's proper job Tibetan Buddhist Lama. And he posted this thing that just said, choose optimism. It feels better. <laughs> you can just imagine all the people like addicted to being miserable. <clears throat> Looking at that and going, <clears throat> And on that note, uh, I will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, uh, for liking, subscribing, if you do that. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, that would be lovely. And I'll see you again soon for another reading. Thank you. Namaste.